Hey, Wrestling Rick. I love your metallic weapons. Hey, shush, be careful. Hey, what's that? Aha, we've made it in time. It's time to see a new boxed warrior being opened. Shh, hey man, keep it quiet. You don't undress, do you hear? Undress, who's that? The Spartan, but never mind. I suggest you stand back. Take that! Hey, what was that for? What did you say about my mother? Huh? How dare you say my mother sucks lemons? Now take this! <laughs> huh? Lemons? What? Spartan stab! Oh! <laughs> for Sparta! Ah! Ow! Stop! Oh! Spartan throw! Oh. Hello oh. and welcome to Old Story Reviews. Now it's your buddy Oz here today and we are going to review two boxed warriors. We're going to open them up, we're going to see who's inside, hopefully it's going to be like some limited edition guy. Uh, we're going to see what their weapons are, if they're going to be like metallic or holographic weapons. And also then we'll uh, finally see who the character is inside. And I'm kind of hoping it's going to be like uh, a ninja guy with a... Actually hold on, let's move this out of the way. There we can see all the guys we can collect, so there's 13 to collect. The limited edition guy is Golden Sir Bachelot. Um, as I mentioned before, there's holographic or metallic weapons, which are kind of rare. And also here you got the rub and reveal thing. So uh, like for instance, if you get Shocker, and for him it's on his belt there, you just give it a kind of a rub or even just put heat on it. And it's, it's kind of still faint, even after like putting heat on it for a while. But you do get to see, I don't know if you can see it, like there's a little fist there. You may be able to see it. But uh, that kind of tells you if it's going to be a good guy or a bad guy. Now I remember with uh, Wrestling Rick, if you rub for ages, you won't be able to see it. Because even I find it very faint. But um, uh, yeah, you might see it, there's like a little skull picture there. I can see it, but I don't know how well it's come across on the camera. So there's that to do as well. Now um, we'll put them back, oh, 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 before we do, who do you think, who do you want to find? Because um, I had a look at these before and I want either Cyber Ninja, official, sorry, sorry Cyber Official Patrol Officer, or um, Bob the Space Force Trooper. Someone who kind of looks robotic. Oh, that ninja too, Robot Ninja, even better. So yeah, that's who I'm after. I'm after Cyber Ninja, Cyber Officer Patrol, or uh, Techno Ninja. Those are the ones I'm hoping for. Let's move this back. We'll get these guys over here. Come on, Andreas the Spartan. Okay, now we'll start with that one. So I need my handy dandy knife. Okay, now let's get into it. So first up there is a, I, I kind of forgot, I went to grab my knife, but we don't really need it because there's a tab here that you tear along. So we'll do that. Okay, hold on, maybe we did need a knife first, <laughs> just to get the plastic off. Okay, plastic off. Now we tore along there, so that's made this come off. So we'll lift it off now. And now one thing I've done, a mistake I've made in the past is I've forgotten to take the cellar tape off, so we'll quickly get that off first. There we go, so that's ready to go. And now another thing too, there's a little tab down the bottom. I've never been able to work out if these are battery powered or not. But uh, now that that's out, it should be ready to go. Okay, maybe that just stops it from being triggered accidentally, because if you push down on the top here, that would usually trigger them off. And then as soon as someone opened it up, it would come out and you wouldn't be ready for it and that would suck a little bit. So maybe that, maybe that tab, all it does is stop it from being triggered prematurely. Now, okay, you ready to see who we got? Three, two, one. Uh oh, three, two, one. Hold on, make sure the cellar tape's not sticking it. Okay, looks good. Ah, oh, I meant to be pressing over here as well. Okay, three, two, one, that's better. Whoa, we've got Shogun Ninja! Okay, that was very cool. Now let's get him out of the box because he's kind of tied down a few different places. So his card we can pull out fairly easily. There we go. Now all this is kind of really well taped in. So let's quickly fast forward as I uh, cut it all out. Okay, so here we have Shogun Ninja. He's all been pulled out of the box. Now, uh, let's check out his weapon. So I might just move the camera down. That's better. We'll put Shogun Warrior down there. It's cool if he's just standing there. And see what we got. So we're hoping for either metallic or holographic weapons. 
It is, ooh, I think that's metallic. Yeah, there's a bit of a shine to it. We'll know for certain when we get the other sword. There we go. So it's got two red metallic swords. I've never seen a holographic sword though, so I, I don't know what the holographic ones will look like, but these look very cool. Nice long handles on it. Does he have a plate? Oh, he does too. He's even got a place on his back to put them, which is very cool. Okay. What have I done wrong there? There we go. Wasn't, wasn't sliding in so smoothly, but there it is. Okay, now let's check him out in detail. So there's his face, and this guy is called Shogun Ninja. So he's got some good head rotations. And I've said before, these guys feel really sturdy, so they're not gonna break, you can be very rough with them. Um, not that I'm saying you should be rough with your toys, but you can be rough with these ones, um, because yeah, they're, they're extremely solid feeling. Uh, but yeah, so his legs go all the way up. So he can have a sit down, if we didn't want to stab his chair. And his arms go up and down so he can pull his sword out if it wasn't attached. Hold on, let's do that. There we go, cool. And get the other sword. There we go, so it's very easy to make them hold their weapons too. And like he's not about to drop them anytime soon. Like they're pretty well stuck in there, which is good. Like some, some people, if they hold weapons, it's like such a... I don't know, like it's so easy for them to fall out. It's either insanely hard to get it into their hands or they fall out extremely easily, but not with these ones. Like you could you could play fairly you know, safely without them dropping them, which is cool. Um, anyway, for now, let's put it in his back holster because it looks really cool. And let's check out. We've got one more thing to look at. We'll move him there. This is his collector's card. So there we go, Shogun Ninja. And these are the ones I've got so far. I've got uh, Shocker, Sparta, and Andreas the Spartan, and Wrestling Rick. So there are those ones, but let's check out Shogun Morris. Check out his back. So it comes with uh, the two swords. There, he, There's his model there. His agility is through the roof compared to some of these other guys. Um, his attack is not, uh, it's kind of like in the middle, defense. He's not, all, he's not about defense, he's more about dodging. Uh, he's not very strong. Let's check out someone else. See this guy, Shocker, he's extremely tough. His attack, his defense is really strong, his agility is very strong, but he ain't so smart, whereas Shogun Ninja is super smart. So it's kind of cool being able to compare these guys. Now that I've got enough to kind of compare them with, it's, it's awesome. So there you go, so there you get to know a little bit about the Shogun Ninja, what his strengths or weaknesses are. I now know that, uh, that guy, this guy here, Shocker, is dumb as a brick. But uh, that's very cool. Now, that's, there's one down. We'll put him with the rest. We'll move the camera back into place. And let's open up the second one. Now, we'll move that. You don't need that anymore. Oh, by the way, these are awesome just to play with like as toys by themselves. Because, look, I'll, I'll quickly show you. You push that all the way down, and then you can use it again. It's locked into place. Now, to make it come back up, you can uh, just press down. There's a little button there. You can press that down. Or if you close it, of course, quickly do that then you just push that down there again and it pops open so that is very cool and you can use it for lots of things um, I found I've got a one one and a half year old who seems to love these for some reason she just puts hold on I can show you I've got I found this one hold on this was in her room and look what's inside uh, Ah, oh, what's happened? Uh, it's got <laughs> some sort of a uh, kind of chef man hole <laughs> and, and uh, a squirrel. So yeah, these have many purposes. If you want to put your squirrel and chef away, you know where to put them. So yeah, we'll put that there, move this out of the way, on to number two, get those cards out. There we go. Now we're ready for another one. Now I probably don't need the, plas the, the knife because that is a perforated line. You may not be able to see it. So you don't need the knives for this one. But you will later on for getting the guy out of the box because they are they're strapped in really well. Okay, so there we go. Got the wrappings off. Number two. Now this time I'm hoping for certain Sir, Golden Sir Bachelot or a robot. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any of these, by the way. Like if you have any or if you haven't, then which one is your favorite? Like who do you want to see the most if you did get one? Okay, cut that tape away so it can open. Whoa! Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hold on, I'll move a bit closer. Put the camera up, there we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, we did get a robot. We got Cyber Ninja. 
Okay, there we go. So, he's very cool. So he's a ninja, like a shogun ninja, but he's a robot ninja, which is kind of like, I know, the best of both worlds. So we'll get his card out, because that's easy enough. And uh, let's do a quick fast forward while I break all these kind of plastic ties here. Okay, there we go. He's all out of his box. Now let's check out, we'll reveal his weapon first to see if it's a metallic or holographic weapon. Now, three, two, one. It is, he's got swords, cool swords like the ninja guy, but I think, I don't see any kind of see-through holographicness or any metallic shine, so I think he's just got normal weapons. Which is still cool, having red kind of blue robot blades is not a bad thing. So we'll put that back there. Let's check out these blades. Yeah, very cool. Hold on, I'll compare them to... Because they're similar but not quite the same as uh, Shogun Ninja's blades. Very cool. And he's also got the back sheath, so you can put them in there if you want. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. Now he looks really nice, really awesome. So again, let's uh, move his head around. Very good, great head movement. He can even go all the way around since he's a robot. There's no uh, neck to snap, hopefully. So very cool. Uh, I love like his shoulder blades and all like the extra protection he's got. Uh, he's got kind of like, 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 the, like the Ninja Turtles, I guess. That kind of like belt with a little hanging down bit there. No, the Ninja Turtles just have a belt. I can't remember. I can't remember about the... Now, uh, there's his legs, of course. They go up and down, arms up and down. And that's about there. all there is to it, except the cool shoulder blades. He looks awesome. Okay, so we'll put him next to Shogun Ninja. Let's, take, let's just line them all up, actually, for comparison. There you go. Now, one more thing we're going to do is check out his card. So there we go. There, Sam, so Cyber Ninja, that's his name. So Shogun Ninja and Cyber Ninja. Check out his back. Uh, he's got way stronger attack than uh, Shogun Ninja did. Um, his defense is about the same. His agility is a little bit less. He's way stronger. Uh, his brains are far, far less than Shogun Ninja. But his tech levels are through the roof. It's crazy. Um, and also has a little bit of a backstory about uh, Cyber Ninja, which I will not read to you because that could take ages and may be boring if you're not interested. Um, but there you go, guys. So we've got uh, two new guys. We've got two new ninjas. We've got Cyber Ninja, Shogun Ninja, as well as uh, Shocker, Andreas the Spartan, and Wrestling Rick. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like always, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And until next time, guys, have a great week. Take care of yourself. And I will catch you next time.